Good evening and welcome to another edition of 7 O'Clock Spurs with me, Jack Bryden, on this lovely Thursday evening. First up tonight, Toby Alderweireld and Kyle Walker have been named in the EA, EA Sports team of the season so far. Now that's brilliant news for the club, great news for our defence and obviously it just goes to show what Poch has done uh, to, to shore up our defence this season. Having Kyle and Toby both in, in the, the team of the season so far, we may not have said that that would have been the case so close to Christmas this time last year. You know, we've been shipping goals quite a lot over the last few years. This season, however, we've lost one game since the start of the season against United. We've got one of the best defensive records in the league. And yeah, it just goes to show how solid we are at the back. Toby's come in uh, from Atletico Madrid. He's doing awesome. He, he's bringing out the best in Jan and he's just made that defensive line just so much stronger. Kyle Walker's looking all the better for it as well. Yes, he does make the odd mistake like he did against West Ham in a bit of a, with a bit of a lapse of concentration. We did thrash him on that night, so you know it wasn't that much of a problem. And he did just score a worldie of a goal, so you, you could have let him off for that. He does have those odd lapses in concentration, but he is looking so much better down that right-hand side this season. So congratulations to them. And it just goes to show the direction that the club is going. We've, we've started at the back, we've also with Hugo involved as well, and Jan and Danny Rose. Just looks so much stronger at the back and now it just feels a lot more comfortable uh, as a team with that with that certainty at the back so congratulations to those two let's hope for more for the rest of the season following on from that toby alderweireld has also been named as one of the best top 10 summer signings of the season so far by Talksport. going for fear of repeating myself from the last point toby alderweireld for me is the summer signing of the season Yes, you've got the likes of Petr Cech in there, but number one, he plays for Arsenal, so we'll just forget about him anyway. He's come in and he's just made the team feel more of a unit. And you just feel like we're a better team with just one single player in addition to what we had last term. So, for me, he's the best summer of the, uh, of the summer so far, and, and there's no question about that. So I'm just going to move on from that, and I think we know amongst everyone else, we know that he's the best summer signing so far. So, that's it. Third and final point, Sado Berahino is a no-go, according to the Daily Mirror. Now, I'm getting a bit bored of this story. I don't know about you, but if this is true, I'm quite happy about it because the Mirror is saying, Jeremy Peace is refusing to do business with Daniel Levy after what happened in the summer. We know that he made, uh, Daniel Levy made four bids for Sado Berahino in the summer. But since then, Berahino's shown his true colours. I don't know about you, but in my opinion, someone with an attitude like Sado Berahino recently has also been in the news for another Twitter-related uh, story where he liked someone saying um, whether he was being held captive by Jeremy Peace in a cellar or something like that. And he liked it on Twitter. Now, admittedly, it's not the crime of the century, but... Do you want players who are going to do that sort of thing? You know, you don't see Harry Kane going around doing that sort of thing. He's a model footballer. You don't want someone like Sado Berahino coming into the club. So, in my opinion, if Sado Berahino don't come to the club, it's not the world. It's not the end of the world. There are other strikers out there. If we don't get someone in January, is that the end of the world? I might get some stick for saying this, but Poch has already said it as well. We've got the likes of Ng and Sun who can fill in. Um, is that something that we can do until the end of the season? I don't know. But is it the end of the world if we don't get Sado Berahino? In my opinion, no. So that's your three points for today. That's the news uh, coming from Tottenham Hotspur and Spurred On for today. If you like the, the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you don't follow us uh, on Twitter, then make sure to follow us at Spurred On TV and subscribe to the channel if you already haven't. So make sure you do that. Come back tomorrow for more Spurred On. Seven o'clock Spurs. Hi guys, it's Barnaby for Spurred On. This is another edition of Seven O'Clock Spurs on Wednesday. First bit of news today. It's not only us who are interested in Fulham's attacking talent, Musa Dembele. 